At one time, most of us owned something that stocked our shelves. That something was a big deal for years, but one day its era ended and off it went to garage sales and thrift stores. As News Channel 5's Forrest Sanders reports, something's making a comeback in some unusual ways. You know how it is. A lot of times the garage is for your hobbies. That's true for Andy Campbell Fergus. But this isn't the hobby being kept out here. This is. I love VHS, absolutely. <laughs> People walk in, they look and just go, wow, you have a lot of movies. <laughs> and after that, it's like, well, what's this title? I've never heard of that. I have around 1,500 VHSs right now. I used to have probably around 5,000. How does someone even manage to get that many? Well, Andy worked at a number of video stores in the mid-2000s. A lot of stores got rid of their VHS sections. While they did that, I took them. <laughs> and the more rare and odd, the better. Cat Adventure Video is one of those videos that you put on to entertain your cat. And it's like, how am I not going to buy this? <laughs> you know what I mean? You see, Andy is part of a growing community of VHS collectors that often buy and trade old tapes from the era of Be Kind, Rewind. That's even though the last VCR was manufactured in 2016, and major Hollywood studios by and large stopped releasing on VHS in 2006. This is the first VHS I ever got. Andy says in the age of streaming, the appeal of VHS is a little like the returned interest in vinyl. Though vinyl saw return to major stores, that has not happened to VHS. Andy says there's something similar between that vinyl and the memories brought back by these sounds. I love that feeling of popping in the tape like physically. It's just like a thing that you don't get with hit and play on something on YouTube. Here's Tiger Sharks. This was one of my favorite cartoons when I was growing up. This isn't on Netflix. You can't really get it anywhere else. Brian Morrison is part of the nonprofit free blockbuster. They have these little free community libraries that have become popular for people to share movies, like this one on Gallatin Avenue. As of today, we have 84 locations across the United States, Canada, and Australia. The interest in VHS is also being seen on sites like eBay, where many titles, often vintage Disney, are asking for hundreds, and yes, even thousands of dollars. But Andy says that isn't what the collectors today are really about. Rewind back to something he said. Wow, you have a lot of movies. And after that, it's like, well, what's this title? I've never heard of that. That's it. Andy says the great appeal of VHS for him today is community. That even after this many years since the VHS era, there's still a shared love of movies and how many first saw them. Andy posts his collection daily to the Instagram page, Birkenstein Films. And he says, there's nothing quite like day in the garage taking in a movie. I grew up with it. It was a part of my childhood, my teen years. And for me, it just didn't go away. I'm Boris Sanders, News Channel 5.